You probably don't know, but I'm a big fan of Zelda games, especially Breath of the Wild. When I saw the trailer for the new upcoming Tears of the Kingdom, I was inspired to create something with floating islands. So let me walk you through the process. I wanted to combine Super Mario with Zelda just for fun and whenever I do something I always like to start with a sketch just to have a rough idea where and what I want to put in the scene. Next it's time for heavy lifting. I need to find proper images for the artwork. I'm trying to find the photos for my floating islands for one hour now. And the problem is that I cannot find the proper photos that suits my style. The idea is to find the photos of, of top of the mountains and some rocks and flip them upside down in that way create floating islands. But the issue is that I need proper perspective, proper angles, proper style of the rocks and I cannot find that. So the only way for me now is to go in Blender and model something out. So let's do that. The islands are finally done, now it's time to create a rocket, again I will use Blender to create the style of the rocket that I like and then I will do a photo shooting, I will photo shoot myself and position myself at the top of the rocket so that will be fun. Let's first create a really cute rocket. And the 3D part is done. We finish all the blender things, the modeling, the positioning elements in the scene. It looks like this. And now I will dress myself as a Super Mario and combine Mario and Zelda, the Nintendo teams, into one photo and uh, have really crazy final result as you already saw at the beginning and as a thumbnail. So let's dress up as a Super Mario. Like the superheroes like to say, suit up. It's me. Mario. With that difference that I would probably wear different gloves, I would probably wear red ones because I, I like it a bit better with this costume and also as a bonus I need to paint my hat to red and I will wear these goggles because I'm flying on a rocket. Photo shooting is done. I'm really happy with the result. Now we need to do the harder part. We need to combine everything in Photoshop into a really nice final artwork. So let's do it. By the way, is this working? By the way, I finally finished the Photoshop hair manipulation course. If you want to learn how to create any kind of hairstyle in Photoshop, check out the link down there in the description and enjoy the course.